Okay, so the chat's okay. open. Can you guys right. hear us? I feel like... Yeah? Good. Okay, good. I feel like I'm taking up all the room. I'm sorry. It's because your personality so is just so anymore. big. <laughs> nice, real nice. <laughs> <laughs> I meant it in a good way. <sighs> okay. All right. All right, so... Um, well, the computer screen's on your phone. Do you want me to fix that? No, that's okay. That's all right. No, I'll, I'll zoom it in on the podcast. So. And we're going on that. So yeah, I saw that. So. Okay. All right, I think we're ready to start. Sorry about the snafu. Had a quick change of things, but that's okay. So um, we are nothing if not good at rolling with well, the fun punches. <laughs> we're, we're obviously professionals and have done this a million times before. Right. So. All right, so um, welcome, everybody. This is Mary Beth and Helen, the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow. Yes. And this is? Paige. Paige the Framer. Paige the Framer. And we're doing our virtual trunk show, and we thought what we'd do this time is talk about the yarns that we dyed, because we have brand new yarns to show everybody. What? We have to make them active. Oh, right. Okay. So here. Here's my phone. It's so quiet. I don't even know what you just said. Okay. What did she say? She's making them active on the website, so if oh. people want to buy them, <laughs> they can go buy them. But before we start, don't we brought it. you don't a try. present to Me? say thank you for having us as a trunk show. So we brought, um, I don't know if you guys know or not, but Paige does all these amazing okay. doodles. I mean, she does these absolutely gorgeous doodles. So we brought her a book <laughs> to um, do her doodles in, and it's an Alice in Wonderland book. And it says, We're in, you're entirely bonkers, but I'll tell you a secret, all the best people are. Oh my gosh. So it's for your- Oh, I get to draw. Yep. I'll make sure every little page has a toad on it. So that <laughs> I was thinking maybe you could do it with like book quotes or Alice in Wonderland quotes I could or things like oh. that. You know, so you know what? I'll do like Alice that. in Wonderland to go with. Yes. The, oh. Thanks, girls. You're welcome. Thank you for having us. We had thank such you, a good time you. doing it. Me so. too. So much fun. Like, I want to be on the podcast with you all the time. We're definitely going to be doing more <laughs> podcasts yeah, yeah. yeah, we're going to have to. I don't have a present for you. You don't have to have a present. You, you can have us pins. a trunk show. Pins? Pins. And pins, a necklace. Abigail. <gasps> pins! Pins. It's not really as special, <laughs> but hey, that's okay. <laughs> all right. I will, I will use the pins and always think of Paige. Yes. Thanks, guys. I will take them away from Tabitha and tell her that pa <gasps> Paige did not give them to her. I did not give the cat pins. No. She puts them in the dog food. She all right. Puts them in the dog food. So, um, are you almost? Uh, yeah, keep talking. Okay. <laughs> That was me last week. So this week we were going to talk. We're, we are going to be talking about some of our favorite books as adults. But um, Helen and I were having. Well, I was having a very difficult time trying to find colors to go with the books that I chose because the books, instead of being picture books and that kind of thing, are books that really moved me or meant something to me or there's a character in them that just like really kicked me in the gut. So that. Um, I was like, how do you do a color for that, you know? And we were having a discussion about it and how real life is not colorful, you know? Mm -hmm. Kids are fun and colorful and exciting and grown-ups are bills and mortgages and boring stuff, you know? <laughs> and it's just, it's What not... was it our best friend said the other night? Reality is boring. Yes. Um, so that finding colors to go with it, I could do colors, but there's going to be a lot of brown and a lot of gray, and a mm -hmm. lot of green, and it's just, it's, it's not exciting. Right. So uh, today what we're going to do is we're gonna talk about the colors that we actually dyed for the books that we did last week. We're going to talk about books this week, but we won't have yarn to go with it. Right. So. And we did talk about, we weren't allowed to pick the Night Circus, because we all love that right. one too much. Right. And then did we say the Lord of the Rings too? We weren't allowed to pick that. No, didn't we didn't. You, but you already picked the right for my kid one. Okay, yeah. cool. All right. Yeah. Which, by the way, may be the best yarn we've dyed in a long time. What? The... No, don't, don't. Okay, I'm not Wait, allowed don't. to say anything. <gasps> Sorry. Could you please hurry up? <gasps> Come on, I want to see it. I can't believe you've been in my shop for an hour and I haven't looked at them. Uh, that's because we wanted to do it on the the podcast and we and have do to it have your like... real life view. And I wasn't being sneaky. Like I didn't. You didn't even, even try. try. So yeah. I'm. That's because you had me like. All over the place over doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you distracted me. We're very good at misdirection. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Tabitha says hello. 
I like to slip a little tail. Oh, wait. This is better, actually. Yes. This will match. Right. Tab <laughs> Oh my gosh. I, I think. We, oh my gosh. I need to felt needle. Yes. <laughs> just the tail. Just a tail on a, on a stick. Oh my God. That would be so funny. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm pretty sure Helen has made them all active. If you find one, we mentioned something and it's not active. Know that we will be getting it on later. Oh, what did it look like? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, they're oh, not going questions. in the collection. Hi, 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 okay. everybody. Let's see. Where are you posting them on the site? Them. Oh, right. What? Okay. They're going to just search? Yeah, because it's, um, for the tag isn't taking. Okay. All right. So, um, they are on our website, toadhollownj.com, and you're just going to have to search by the name. We made a collection called Favorite Books, but for some reason, some, there's some glitch that's not letting it go in. Um, it may be doing it on the computer, so... Um, no, it's not even doing it behind the scenes. Okay. All right. So, um, if you have any problems, let us know, because we can help you out with it afterwards. And, Susie, if your munchkin needs some um, attention, totally cool, because you guys are recording this to watch later, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So, we will be putting this up on our... <gasps> Tom, Bert, and William. Are those the trolls? Those are the trolls. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> Who said that? Charlie... Charlie. Oh, Charlie's, Charlie. Charlie's going searching. Oh, Charlie knows. No, Charlie knows. Charlie knows. That's right. All right. So can we start showing? We can start showing. Yeah. Okay. Snap. So All if right. you search by the name as we say them for the individual skeins, and then when we get to the final mini skein collection, that if you search favorite books, that'll come up. Wait, right. you did regular skeins and mini skeins? But well, yeah. we wanted you to had show time them. for all of that. I'm yeah. so impressed. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So uh, the first one of Helen's that we did. Okay, so this was circus shoes. I love the colors. Aren't they beautiful? So Helen wanted to do a red and white striped tent, and then the book cover that we had had orange on it, so we did orange speckles on it. The red and orange together is awesome. Yeah. So, it shows. Oh. so this is circus shoes. Okay, I'll do downstairs. Okay. Do upstairs. <laughs> Can you guys see it? So you guys on the Zoom camera, you're on my laptop, which is not the best camera, so I do apologize if you're like, yeah, I can't even see that blob of yarn in your hand. But you will have these. Check out your web on the uh, website right yeah. now. You can yeah. you can actually see this. Yeah. And then later on on the YouTubes. All right. Then Helen also did. Good job. Is it? Yeah. Good job. Helen also did the Snow Queen. So this is the Snow Queen. Oh, snap. So this one we just did icy blues. And we grays. started with gray, and then we poured over icy blues and darker blues, and yeah, man, that's good. Yeah, it shows up much better on the on yeah. The camera. So that's DK in your hand. Oh, yep. it's interesting too how the different bases kind of like they, they um, pop more because uh, the nylon. The nylon. Yeah. Oh, that would be a beautiful sweater too. But yeah. it, oh, it's yeah. gonna yeah. be such a gorgeous sweater. So that's the Snow Queen. Snow queen, snow queen, snow queen. And then Helen's third was? Rosenblum. Oh, no, you had four. Helen's third was Rosenblum. Oh, my so, gosh. So this one I wanted to look like roses. That's my favorite one so far. And I don't, I'm not a pink person. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. So that's Rosenblum. Here, I'll do this up here. Okay. So. <laughs> you guys, where do I look? Okay. So that's Rosa Bloom. That's a good sweater too. Yeah. All right. You know this what? It's one, pink, but it's not pink. It's no, all it's, different. It's, like, it's, like, got a, it's got like a mauve to it. Yeah. What's it called? What did you name it? Rosen Bloom. <laughs> I hear Rosen Bloom like the like the last name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. No, <laughs> no it's Rose okay. in oh, Bloom. Okay, Jeff this may be one of my favorite colors we have ever dyed. Man, you, you got a lot of yarn. Uh, Christine, if you search each one individually by name, they're going to show up. Um, for oh, whatever do you want me reason, to type the names in? They're not showing the chat? up. Can we type the names in the chat while you're saying them? All right. Not Rose in Bloom, the last name. Rose in Bloom. And then we've got Snow Queen. 
No, it's not showing up. They're not showing up? It's not showing up. What was the first one? Oh, I know what you probably did. Hold on. Check uh, to make sure it's online. Circus shoes. Oh, okay. Circus shoes. All right. Um, I should have my glasses on. Circus shoes. Okay. That's three. Oh, because that's number four. Yeah. Ooh. So this one was Kiki from the uh, the Adventure series by Enid Blyton. And Kiki is a cockatoo parrot. It's so good. So we went with the yellow and peach over a white base. And this just is so me. I love this so much. Are you going to make a sweater out of that? I want you to make sweaters out of all of them. Out obviously. of all of them? You seem to think that I have is unlimited it... knitting time. I know, right? <laughs> is it K-I-K-I? K-I-K-I, K -I -K -I, yes. Kiki. Oh, Kiki. Are they online? I mean, oh, like, man, James says the show? minis are pretty and I haven't seen them yet. Don't. <laughs> oh man! Is that what it is? Yes, that's that's what it is. Oh my gosh! I might need to make a new pair of leggings with uh, the, with this mini set, and now with these colors. Yeah, that most of these are gold this, So. Oh yeah, that would look so pretty with that one. Yeah. This is like a super bright compared to that. <gasps> okay. Sorry. Guys, I'm so sorry about this. It's my fault. No, 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 no. It's not your fault at all. It's um, that we forgot our iPad. We were supposed to bring the iPad so we could just go through on the iPad. Right. We can just select everything and do all at one time. That's why we're using my computer, which is not as good. So I like seeing all the faces. I don't know. You guys can't. I don't know why I'm. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Oh. That's gorgeous. So this is just my colors. The Kiki. Yeah, I th feel like on my computer it's blowing out. I think on it is. Your on your phone it's totally on. It's a very, very soft yellow with peaches. Do you want me to share my screen? Or do you think it's okay? Like I could go to your website and share the pictures. Oh, we could do that, yeah. Do you want me to do that? Okay. Once we get... Yeah. I mean, you guys still talk and chat and yeah. all that. I'll just go to your website and... But is that going to take us away? If you're sharing the screen and everything, well, we won't we be gonna... able to see everybody, but everyone can still see us. They can see us, okay. Oh no, I guess not. I don't okay, know whether they're. Never mind, guys. Just ignore right. everything I say. I, I'm pretty sure that now. All right. So now oh, check. I saw them. Check favorite books. I looked. I saw. <laughs> Are they all coming up? Yes. Yes. All right. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Got eight. What am I missing? <laughs> you did that many colorways in a week. I'm very. Well, we did I'm this. Very and impressed. So much more. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but okay. You came up with eight in a week. We came up with ten in a week, and then we died up. I just don't understand how, like... Well, we came up with the 10 when we were doing the, it's just the trope a... show. Oh, my gosh. And they did concierge appointments. And they did concierge appointments. <laughs> yes. Holy mackerel. Well, we did the dying in one day. Okay, but it's the brain space of thinking is what I'm talking about. The, the physical part, I get. Well, it's no, the, the hard thinking. part was done when we talked last week. Oh, really? Because uh. we came up with all the colors. I guess. In my brain, it just seems like a whole lot more. That's... It's not rocket science, Paige. It's just okay, dying well. <laughs> That's what you guys think. Oh, my God. Because that's, that's your job. It's not my job. So in my world, it's magical and it is just, rocket science. Just accept that it's rocket science okay. and it's magical. And... It is magical because there are lots of indie dyers out there. There are. And your colors always make me go, holy crap. Well, thank you very much. And you've been doing this for how many years? And I still go, oh my gosh. Like, that's just yellows and oranges and peaches, but it looks totally different from okay. that. We'll see. Which is okay. yellows and oranges, but it's not like clearly different. Yes. Okay. So, in their faces. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, this was Kiki. All oh right. Oh my gosh, Kiki's good. Kiki's, so, Kiki's one of my favorites from what we did. Um, one of my first ones was, this is, um, Gloria from... Gloria! Sorry. 
<laughs> this is from No Flying in the House. And I wanted to do the jewels that were in her collar. So we speckled with red and blue, yes. green and yellow and blue. And then did a gold wash over okay, it. Now you have to come down for that camera. So. Those speckles are good. That's what that looks like. And that's Gloria. And we have it in fingering and in, in decay. Oh, yes. Mm. And then. Oh, can I see that up close and personal? Yep, here you go. My next one That's was good. Gurgi. This is a character from. I didn't type it. The. Um... Rosenblum <laughs> is awesome. Yes, Christine Rosenblum is awesome. <laughs> Can we call it that for now? <laughs> Can that be its name? This is Gurgi. So this is all different colors of brown. It's like a brown yeah. tonal. There you go. So I want that color. That is so good. That's two rows, and I think, ew, David. <laughs> David. So ew. that's Gurgi from um, The Book of Three by Lloyd Alexander. That's really pretty. That's a page color. That is like, oh my gosh. Mm. And then, um, oh my gosh. Here's Puff Sleeves. So this is from Anne of Green Gables. Oh, wait. Sorry. Keep those two together. Okay. Let's wait. So that's, that's puff sleeves, and it's like a very soft orange and yellow, and there are pinks and purples in there too, but um, it's beautiful. very, very light, so that... It's like orange sherbet. I love it. But the, the colors are faded, so that it matches with the time period that, right. you know, it's almost like a vintage dress that you would find. That's, and that's the, what I wanted, so like every now and then it's you're going to get a pop of pink coming through so it's nothing like the seinfeld episode with the puffy no, shirt it no it isn't at all nothing like the that. Puffy shirt. It was a white shirt not so. at all <laughs> so that's that um oh that looks nice with this too oh yeah all right so we've done seven okay oh, so here comes um the first of that pages that's like a purple Okay, okay, so your first book was Curious George. No, 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 do, do James and the Giant Peach first. Okay. Right. Doing James and the Giant Peach first. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Okay. All right. It's good. That was red. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there's a spider. Oh, the grasshopper. Oh, my gosh. So what we did was we started with um, a yellow base, Ooh. like a goldy yellow base, and then we poured... A peach oh color gosh. over it to get the perfect is... color of a peach. Goldy yeah. yellow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What am I giving it's away perfect. all the family secrets? Yes. <laughs> oh, wait, we, you can't. Oh, wait, that's, that's like your recipe. And then we speckled. <laughs> and then we speckled. And then we speckled. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh my gosh. Where's the muzzle? There you oh go. Oh my gosh. This is so good. All right. You really can't see it. Um, I don't mean to not show you guys. So you're not gonna be able to see it on this camera. Oh, maybe you can. You know what? If I do that, like if maybe I, when we're done, if you share your screen. Let me do shadow. I feel like if I do. Can't really see it. Oh, the little speckles of the bugs is so good. Can I open this? Yeah. <gasps> you get to keep one. No. Yeah, you yeah, do. You can I can buy one. No, 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 no you get like, to keep you one. You pick um, whether you do fingering or decay, and you're going to get one of each of yours. But of each. Yeah. yeah. You have three colors. When we do... Ooh, um, also, the way... You guys are like... I mean, I know this is your job and stuff, but that is like a perfectly wound skein of yarn. Oh, thank you. That, that Helen did all by herself. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Um, but I'm taking it apart. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Oh my gosh! When we do collaborations with people, we pay them in yarn. So you came up with the colors. Oh, the speckles are so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is James and the Giant Peach. Right. And the speckles, it's like the little bugs are inside the peach. Yep. <laughs> so good. So much. Don't make fun of my um, winding skills. You broke it. You bought it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, my mom would say that so much when I was a kid. It was frightening. Oh, like absolutely. Walking into yeah. a store. <laughs> if you yeah. touch it. Ooh. Okay. Are right, you ready? 
So your next one was Curious George. Is this a ball band or a belly band? I don't know. Okay. We call it a ball band. I heard well, Actually, we call it a yarn band. Yeah. Chelsea, um, Legacy Fiber Arts Chelsea was calling it a belly band. And in my brain, it just wasn't computing. I'm yeah. like, no, I think of a belly band more as like, you know, weight loss surgery. <laughs> All right, so henceforth, they're not belly bands. Okay. Okay. So you had said that you you thought it should be white, because white That's for the bunny, and um, oh my gosh. browns for, the, for Curious George, and then reds and greens and blues. So we looked at the end papers of the book. Yes. And it's all like softer pastels, so we went pastels. Yeah, because it fits our, our... Holy mackerel, it's so, this, so pretty. This is uh, Curious George and the bunny. <laughs> this is toad hollow right there man that is like blam <gasps> look at that caramelly color that's george right that's there. george right there <laughs> and there's a the man with the yellow hat <laughs> and you got there there were fish that were kind of like um yep. movie pink so we have the fish oh i'm not showing you guys i'm just sitting here like staring at it myself oh my gosh can you guys yeah. oh here turn this like that because then you can see the move and the pink and everything okay Oh my gosh. These cameras are not doing justice to these pictures, to these colors. This is amazing. Um, I generally don't look at colors and think, oh, that would be so perfect for a little kid. But yeah. seriously, yeah. these would be, this so, good. Would be yeah. so good yeah. for a baby, a toddler, a little, oh my gosh. And it can go either way. Like, um, Male, what's the, the baby sophisticate? Um, I forget. Is it, it's not a tin can knit, is it? I forget who, what, it's a pattern, baby sophisticate, and it's like a, a rolled collar, <gasps> little cardigan. Oh my gosh. Babies. Yeah. Maybe I'd get my brother and his girlfriend to have another baby. Okay. <laughs> so this Probably might be not. my favorite one that we got. Wait, what else do we have? This is William Burt and Tom. Oh this is the Tom. <laughs> Look at this. So good. How good is this? It's so stony. Oh it's my god. It's so stony in the moss. Oh my gosh. It's so gorgeous. Okay. Those are trolls. Oh, see, it looks blue on here. You guys at home. Well, why don't we share the screen now that we've shown them on? You can, okay. You can show each one. Oh my individual. gosh. That is so good. I feel like this is like. Oh, I just love it. You're right. You guys, your greens really are yeah. good. Thank you. All right. Oh so you know gosh. what I'm going to do? That's like a gray. It is. It, that's a troll. That is totally a troll. Oh, my gosh. All right. Let me see if okay. I can share my screen. No, do you know what I'm going to do? Yes, I'm going to sign in as a person. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, fan over the thing so that... Everybody can see them. I love that she's going to sign what in as she a person. Say? I know. Like, all of those words, she's going to fan. Like, okay, that sounds fancy. I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> it doesn't but mean you put all words together. <laughs> What's happening? I'm going to try and sign in as me. Oh, my gosh. And the yellow could be, like, troll boat boogers. Like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a lovely way to describe your beautiful colorway. <laughs> oh, look. Boogers. It's so pretty. It looks like boogers. <laughs> It's good. Oh, gosh. All right, so how do you pick your favorite? Like, all right, after you dye all of these, how do you actually go back and say, oh, that's my favorite? I think Curious George is probably, and Kiki are like my favorites. Curious George is really good. But the trolls and Gurgi are going to be so versatile. Right. I mean, if you look at these are dynamic too, so I feel like if they see it, if you see this in person, yeah, like your eyes, this your eye will instantly go to this, yeah. <gasps> Ooh. I mean, if you do Rosenblum, Gurgi, and the trolls, that would be a three color shawl. You're saying is that yeah. what we should be doing? Oh snap! And if you wanted to do four, if you throw in the Snow Queen, oh my gosh! And if you want to leave Gurgi out and just do three, no, I love Gurgi so much. Oh my gosh! You could do so 
They all really work very well together. They're great. Oh my gosh. And then if you're doing a fade, I mean, you can start with oh, yeah. no flying in the house. Which one's that? that this one? There, yeah. Oh, schnitz. Oh, schnitzel. So you do no <laughs> flying in the house into Kiki, into Puff Sleeves, into James and the Giant Peach. Oh, snap. Into, what's this called? That's Circus Shoes. That could be over there. And then after circus shoes could be this pinky hoozy what's her? Rose and bloom. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just Do you want to lay them out on oh, the sure. table? Oh my goodness. All right, so make yourself um put your volume on so you become the speaker. Oh I'm gonna turn this. I'll mute this so we don't. Okay. Alright. Hopefully, Hopefully I am now. Oh. Oh. Can you mute Can yourself? You mute that one. I did. I did. I think you have, think to, mute you have to mute that. No, you have to turn the volume down on this. The yeah, machine okay. itself. Oh. The machine itself. Where's your voice? Hopefully nobody's got their earphones in. Okay, you got it. Oh, it's disgusting. That's such a terrible sound. Is that better? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, so. No, it sounds weird still. Here we go. This is Gloria. Gloria? Gloria. Okay. That is the Snow Queen. That's Gurgi. Oh my gosh. This is James and the Giant Peach. This is Curious George. I was in bloom. Okay, so here. <laughs> I'm going to turn this so you can get all of it. That's Rose and Bloom. And Circus Shoes. Circus Shoes. Is good, I did that one already. Okay. And there is. William, Bert, and Tom. So let's see, one, two, one? three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm missing two. I need Kiki. Oh, Kiki. Okay, that's Kiki. Kiki still gets blown out. It's pink, it's peach, and yellows. It's really, really pretty. And then, what am I missing? Oh, puff sleeves. puff sleeves. I need puff sleeves. Okay, so here's puff sleeves, and there you can see the pa the purple coming through, and the orange. Oh, they're so good. Okay. How do you pick a favorite? All right, so now I am going to, I'm going to sign out. Get out. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> and then put the volume back up on this. And unmute us. Oh, and unmute us. Right, we're okay. Right. Oh, we're unmuted. Oh, snap. Were we unmuted that whole time and you guys had to hear horrible sounds? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're so professional. Okay. <gasps> and then, last but not least. Oh, snap. Here are the mini skeins. So it's a set of 10, 10 gram mini skeins. Oh, my gosh. That's so good. And that's what it looks like on the back. Okay, so then hold them up for the... I think you can see, you can see it. Okay. Oh my gosh. So there you go. It's so good. Story room. It's somebody's library, and I, I thought it was absolutely perfect for them. Oh my the, gosh, it's so good. Yeah. All right. So these are all. I'm hoping they're all live on the Trippy website. Trippy Echo. I'm sorry. <laughs> if anybody is looking for any of them, smoke weed every day. <laughs> let us know if anything's missing. Um, they should all be, there should be a collection that's favorite books, and right. they should all be in there. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they worked. Okay. Curious George is amazing, Jane. Oh, my gosh. Okay, if you guys have looked at the site, or if you can tell the colors from all of our screens, tell us which one you love the best. Yes. Because I can't tell which one I love the best. Let me see your phone for a second. Okay. I love George. Like, I feel like George wins, but then I also feel like Bert and Rosenbloom and circus shoes and gurgi gurgi i think of harry potter because of the gurg you know oh, okay the, um, oh okay yeah because i didn't read this book it's a very good book <gasps> anyway good. so ice queen wins you trolls. have yes you have all three you have your three <laughs> that you get to pick either dk or fingering wait for your three. Oh my gosh so can't think about it. Of course. Oh, I feel like I should do fingering. 
because then I can either do a three color shawl or I can double up and have DK weight. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, sh so the these, are, these are... That's really pretty. Um, these are pages three colors. Oh my gosh. I think those colors. are gorgeous yeah. together. So I think you should make a tote hollow shawl. I mean, these are your colors. Oh, you, you got four spoiled brat. No, I'm kidding. Well, no, I, got, I got three and a half because we both picked. Kirby. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. okay. Kiki, not Kirky. Wait. So these are my four. And where are your three? There was some room. Puffy sleeve. Is that this one? You can yeah. tell where my color sensibility is. Oh, puff lie. sleeve. No, I'm going to say, and then Gurgi. Wait, what was the other one that's yours? Gloria. Oh, Gloria. I keep forgetting Gloria. So oh, those, yeah. Those are my three. Oh, my gosh. Those are, these are my three. Oh! <laughs> Thanks, Mom. This is totally a toad moment where things are just falling all over. <laughs> the only thing we're missing you think is a Tabitha, dog barking. Right? I can burn. All right. I can burn. <laughs> Everybody hold theirs up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, my God. There you go. I love them. They're gorgeous. So much. Look, they really are beautiful. Look at these four together. They're beautiful. They're so pretty. This would be like a boat to Are there look four? Oh, yeah. yeah. Four color shawls. And look. then you could add Kiki into yours very easily. I want rose and bloom in mine. But it's so funny. Yours are oranges and browns. Mine are pastels. Yep. <laughs> Home. <laughs> just gonna excuse me. <laughs> I'm gonna use the little girl's room. <laughs> Here, let oh me make gosh. it easy for you, right. and you can have a bag that you can just take them in. <laughs> oh my gosh, these minis are ridiculous! So they're ten they gram minis. They look so good together. Wait, can you? You didn't have to make the minis. Like, can you buy ten gram minis? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. I was gonna say. Can I ask you about dyeing minis? Is yeah. that like a real pain in the butt? No. no it's oh, it's bad. not? No. No, instead of dyeing one skein of yarn, we dye like 10 minis. 10, 10 gram minis. Wait, that's can you say equal. that again? Okay, so instead of taking a skein of yarn, we take 10, 10 gram minis because that's equal to one skein of yarn. Oh, right, right, right. And have that. What we do is oh, we, okay. we um, use shower rings. Right. And we put the yarn on a shower ring. Oh. And we put, instead of putting one skein on, we'll that's put 10, 10. Okay. 10 gram minis So it's on. still the same amount of... Same yarn, yarn getting right. color. Okay, okay. So it's still your recipe can still be the same. Yes, yes. yes. And what we did was they just we did a little easier than a full skein. Um, right. We did a washing, bunch of minis then. and a bunch of single skeins together in one pan so that we got the equivalent of sure. four skeins. <laughs> um, okay. Do you use a tool to wind or not wind to skein them up? Twist or do them? you just, it's just your arms the whole time? Yeah. Most of the time we do. Um, we have a drill with one of those giant coat hooks that's covered in a rubber coating. Yeah. And one person mans the drill and the other person holds the skein and we can do about 100 or 150 skeins in an hour. So is that like getting ready for like a, a festival when you have a ton of yarn? Yeah. Oh, we never, we never twist them by hand usually. No. No. No, because you're... Yeah. The, mini, the minis like, you do. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. But Sorry. The, the big this skeins. Is so interesting to me. Yeah, the big skeins, it's just we use the um, the the drill. Oh, my gosh. Can you see it? I'm trying to read without my Love glasses. Love the colors, but I ordered the mini set. I just couldn't decide on a single color. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a wise decision. Yes, me. I think so. Somebody else says, I'm not usually a pink person, but I think rose and bloom is my favorite. I agree. Like, it's... In per you need to see it because it's pink, but it's totally not like yeah. it's. You don't look at it and go, "Oh, it's bubble gum or a baby." You, it's so it's, no, no, no. It's, it's an adult pink. It's refined. And there are a couple <laughs> that are saying that Gloria is their are, is their favorite because they so, want to sing. I yes. was gonna say. So. That is really, really pretty. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, Bra we were going bravo, to. Bravo, bravo. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> we were going to have some that we were just going to have for a very brief period of time until we sold out. And then it was just going to be the mini skeins because we weren't sure about them when we were dyeing them. And then Helen was twisting them uh, this morning and she comes up and she's like, yeah, we're not getting rid of any of them. No. I, yep, I mean, I'm not sure I want to give any of these up. <laughs> the rose in bloom. I, yeah, I really, rose in bloom. 
is seriously I could see that being one of your like because it's pink without being pink. Right. Yeah. And it will go with so many different things. So many things. Browns, grays. Definitely green. Green and pink totally is good. gorgeous. I mean together. it's gorgeous with the trolls. Yeah. <laughs> seriously. The trolls are so good. They are. I mean if the you had a a color work sweater where you did mo the body. Yes. In, yeah, the three uh, of them I together. No, you kill don't me. like no, no, it. I told but her. I told her to do the those, three. I have um, three together. Large ones together. But um, if it were just a <gasps> that's the three of us together. Yeah, there you go. Oh snap! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, let's go to let's start talking about other books. Okay, let's start talking big people books. Okay. Are you guys ready? Yeah. I started asking you about this before. Okay. And maybe you guys lean towards these girls or you lean towards me. As far as I read books and I read plenty of books, but I cannot, like you guys talk about the book and you remember so much and you remember how it made you feel. And I read a book and then two days later I'm like, wait, did I read that book? Oh yeah, I read that book. Like how do you remember it like every okay, so book you read there, is like in your head no it's not by any means okay so but you do you remember the brian sanderson's and things you know like what it that? is maybe it's the fact that okay maybe it's not so much that i don't remember you guys can articulate your feelings and thoughts where i feel like i kind of bumble like that i might, have a hard time articulating the that, feelings. that might be I mean, that, that could definitely be right. because some people do have an easier time. I have a much easier time talking about books than a, a lot or of other things. just talking in general. <laughs> I'm going to start talking about my books now. Okay? Okay, yes, let's go. All right. I'm okay. listing the, the color talking? names in the chat. What's Cortona? Cortana. What? What the hell is that? I don't know. What it's your say? machine. Oh, shit, it is. Shoot. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Right. Rose and Bloom, yes. That's very lovely. All right, so um, my I first one... Where is Waldo, Judy? <laughs> <laughs> I know I've seen him before, but I don't know where he is. <laughs> Paige, maybe you should do this. <laughs> oh, that cracks me up. I don't like your... Oh, do you want me to type? Because is my keyboard, like, not an Apple keyboard? Because that's a curious charge. Yeah, no, I don't like your keyboard at all. Okay, maybe. <laughs> curious. G-O... G -E Orange. Next is circus shoes. Circus shoes. Oh, uh, Helen, you can chat while we're over here. Her name's Mary Beth. Oh, do you know that I refer to you guys in a video as what did I call you guys? I didn't say Mary Beth and Helen. I said Helen Beth and Mary, <laughs> <laughs> or something. I'm like, wait, who am I talking about? Oh my god. Oh my uh, goodness. Okay, so William, Tom, and Bert. Oh my gosh. It's Bert with a U or an E? U. Oh, shoot. Okay. Gurgi is G U R G I. Uh, oh, I keep wanting to put an L in there. Uh, do you have Kiki? No. Oh, I did that in the beginning, but. The Snow Queen? Oh, my God. Oh, goodness. I love the. F I hope you guys appreciate the faces. Because. <laughs> Face only Puff my sleeves. mother could love. Can we call it puffies? No, I'm just kidding. Puffed, puffed, as in past tense puffed. Or, yes. Okay. Yes. P U F F E D. Sleeves. Okay. Gloria. Glor. Is it just Gloria? Just yeah. Gloria. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. James and the Giant Peach. Dang it, James. Dang it, James. Is that James and the Bugs? James and the Giant. We should just call it James and the Bugs. We, we should change it yeah. to James and the Bugs. <laughs> Thank you so very kindly. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, we'll search James and the Giant Peach because James and the Bugs is not going to get you anything. James and the Bugs. Actually, I'm pretty sure James is going to get you where you right. need to go. <laughs> Just James. <laughs> okay. So. All right. Okay. My so, first one. I mean, the, the first thing was that we were going to have yarns to go with these, but we were having problems coming up with. Right. Well, not my books. <laughs> Not all of us can be simple, Paige. <laughs> all of these are very easy. Are they? All right, not just Mercy. That's that's not easy, but... Okay. Anyway, <laughs> we had said at the beginning we were talking about how it um, is difficult because real life is boring. Right. 
but kids the, are exciting. like an adult because we've done adult books before if there's something that like where the crawdads thing that's steeped in reality right but we found something because that book just meant so much to us that we we found the heron right to base that one on well a book like that too it's visual right so yeah it's easier to and it, right because it's steeped in north carolina right. and nature and everything like that but um things like well we'll get to them go ahead <laughs> you can do your book go okay you sure <laughs> yes Okay, well, the first one, I wasn't even really counting because it's the entire Harry Potter series. And there Come are on. so many things you can do with it. But I can't. Harry Potter just hit me. It like That's so not fair. What? You can take Harry Potter too. It's okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> we can have a discussion about Harry Potter. But it's just, it's like, I read them all as adults, right. as an adult, and it just like floored me. I love them absolutely love them but then if i go back and read them again it's like i love the idea of harry potter harry potter as a person is a whiny brat that i want to <laughs> smack <him sometime. laughs> seriously i just want to smack him i don't sometime. see it like that at all i see it well i mean he is but he's also that's the age he is yes yeah. I mean, but I that's the thing i, I mean a, she aged I, him very well yeah. like oh my gosh when i was that 14 year old me there's no way any of you people would have ever wanted to be around me Ever, I mean, <laughs> do now. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm, I'm, I hope Harry Potter grew up to be. Right. But what, like, she did eleven through seventeen very, very right. well. Yeah. Right. And you just really middle school. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> middle school and high school, two of my least favorite yeah. time periods. However, we have been talking for quite a while about doing like a series of colors based on the Horcruxes. Oh, and that cool. would be a cool thing to do. Yeah. So Harry oh, Potter that would be just... cool for you guys to do because I feel like those would be more dark colors. Like, yeah. Oh, Our Harry Potter colors that. generally are more saturated and, mm, and brighter and, and brighter and darker than our normal collections. You have to join our Harry Potter club. <sighs> okay. Okay. Who goes next? Me. You go. Um, do you want me to pick like a a I don't think it matters, just okay. whichever. So, okay, well, last week we talked about Brandon Sanderson because right. I love him so much. So I brought him up again. Again. <laughs> because I realized that The Way of Kings, which is what his first book in his big epic series. I mean, all of his series are pretty epic, but this one's his epic, epic series. Um, there is... It's it's set in a different universe, right? They're not they're they're humans, but they're not from Earth humans, so it has nothing to do with our reality. Um, but in the books, there's magic, and part of the magic is these beings that are thoughts and emotions, human emotions and thoughts that are called spren. Like our our the way we decide that this is something, we then give it a soul by the way that we think about it. Okay. And so it comes to life and they're called Spren. And there are these like glowing, or they can be anything. It can be like light, it could be wind, it could be a leaf, but they all have a color to them. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you guys, I feel like yeah, you would really in, enjoy these, these books. books. Well, I mean, I've even heard about these and I'm not a huge Brandon Sanderson fan. Right. Brandon Sanderson fan. Um, but I have heard so many people talk about the way of kings. Yeah, it's and it's like, just, it's really neat. Like, the whole concept behind, like, you know, there's a cognitive realm, there's the physical realm, and then there's the spiritual realm. I get so wrapped up in really things neat. like this, even with Harry Potter, how they come up with the world. Right, yes. right, me too. I love that. The, the whole conceptualization of a, wor a different world than ours. Right, well, that's just... why Tolkien made such a huge impression on me yeah. as a kid, because I could escape the middle school right. years. They yeah. were evil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me go someplace that's not. Right. Or at least we're fighting the evil together. Yeah, no, right. and that's that's what books do. Right. Yeah. Um, they take you elsewhere. So yeah. when I was thinking, like, with you guys with colors, I was like, oh, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. So that's the only reason. Okay. Gonna I'm definitely going to have yeah. to read this book. Okay. That's pretty cool. I yeah. think you would like it. And there's all kinds of fan art, too, that go along with his books. So it's fun to see, to read the books and then see other people's interpretations of the things that he's come up with. Right. Okay. Okay. You're up. Um, my first, I will put my first two together because they are by the same author. Mm -hmm. And they both hit me like a ton of bricks. So um, 
it's Alex E. Harrow, and it's the Ten Thousand Doors of January and the Once and Future Witches. And we did the Ten Thousand Doors of January last year. It was my favorite book of the year, hands mm. down. And that book I can see coming up with yarn colors for. Yes, it has an absolutely gorgeous cover, which helps. But then also the fantastical part of it, and I just the need, doors. I mean, I, you yeah, could you do just do the, the doors. Just do all the doors to the different realms, and then her at the end. Where she just creates the door and walks away is just, Ugh. I mean, chills. But on the other hand, the Once in Future Witches, which I think I actually prefer to the 10,000 Doors of January, just a little bit higher, that's a totally dark period. There's nothing good color-wise that we can come up with. It's going to be black and brown and gray. Drab, yeah. I mean, even the familiar I mean, I like those are... <laughs> But even the familiars, which is what you I would you know I would gravitate towards, are black and brown. Right. Um, quotes I can come up with for this book for oh, days. Oh, I, I have. Mean, I have journal pages. Pages oh, really? where oh, you just God. just quotes yes. from this book. Um, so yeah, I just adored that book. It's can a I take a picture of your book. list so I can read those books? Sure. Okay, we can give it to you. Oh yeah. All right. Did I just really give away the ending? Did you really just give away the, no. the ending? No, I didn't give away the ending to anything. I don't think so. I think you're good. Add dark green and it's a graveyard at night book. What's that? What's graveyard at night? It's a book. The graveyard book is uh, Neil Gaiman. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't read that one yet. It's good. No, if you were to add dark green to the colors that Miss Helen just listed. Oh, like oh, okay. At a graveyard <laughs> at night. Okay. There you go. All right. Sometimes you just have to spell it out. For me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My next book is In This House of Breed by Rumor Godden. Never heard of it. It's about a woman who, she's an older woman. She's very successful. She gives up her entire life and goes to uh, join a convent in California. Oh. And it's how she becomes a part of this convent and why she goes to do it and everything and it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. That was one of those books that our mother... You have those books where your parents just tell you, you should read this book. You should read this book. Read this book. Right. And you just... I didn't. You don't want to read the book because your parents want right. you to read it so much. <laughs> <laughs> and then you read it That's and it's like... Jerks. Well, why didn't I read that a long time ago? <laughs> well, also, I mean, she was saying that it's a, it's about a woman who goes to join a convent. I'm like, I go to Catholic school. Why do I want to read about <laughs> I mean, seriously, I know the nuns. I don't want to be a part of it. But it's different. It's very different. Also, I do think that this should be read as an adult mm -hmm. because I think you appreciate it so much more yeah. as an adult. It is an absolutely beautiful book. This is the one that just hits you in your soul. So that um, I loved that book so much. Really, really loved it. Did you get to an age where you realized what a little jerk face you were as a child and apologized to your mom did you did you get to that point i don't think i ever apologized i to totally her. apologized mom like there was like this moment where my one cousin was being such a jerk to her mom and i was like oh my gosh mom <laughs> <laughs> so sorry <laughs> if i ever <laughs> like oh my god it's just like this is how teenagers treat their parents they're such <laughs> jerks <laughs> apologize to my mom it's probably like here. 28 okay <laughs> Okay. Go oh, book. Okay, my second book on the list is definitely not a book you can pick colors from. In my opinion, I can't imagine picking colors. It's Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson, which is, it's his story, and you've seen, I, they did a movie about it, which I did not see, because I generally can't watch movies. They There's too much visual. It goes in my brain, and once it's in my head, it can't come out, and so okay. I don't like things to go in there outside of my control. Right. Okay. So don't go in there, um, but it's he is a um, he's a, a lawyer who runs the Equal Justice Equal Justice Initiative, and he uh, his whole life has been based on helping um, black and brown men who have been incarcerated either on like false they're falsely first of all um, or have been you know 
something as far as like something discriminatory has made it even worse. Do you know what I mean? Like they're in there for way too long. Um, and it's a sad, it, it, so it goes through him and starting and the things that he went through and some of the stories of his clients. And it's like, oh, like are, it just bright, it opens your eyes so much to like what people who clearly I cannot relate to right. um, go through. And it's yeah. such an incredible book. And he, like, you know, there's all kinds of superheroes out there, but Brian Stevenson, like, I could cry. He's such a hero um, because he's dedicated his life to changing the world. Okay. In a real, like, doesn't really, like, he, he's not looking for glory. He's not looking for accolades. He's looking to see people's to change. lives. And yeah. it, Incredible. So, Equal Justice Initiative, if you ever feel like you want to look into an organization, definitely. Okay. Okay. So, again, that, like, how do you pick colors from... I don't know. You don't. You don't, right? I but mean, it, like... And that's, that's one of those things where it's almost... The subject is too weighty for yeah. picking yarn. Right. Like, I'm talking about it's almost uh, like, summarizing it, and I'm ready to cry. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but, it, but it's also it's almost like disrespecting the, the subject matter by right. being yeah. so frivolous as to pick yarn to go yeah. with it. Yeah. Um, so I have two that are my kick in the guts. Mm. Okay. I have The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna, which I can't even talk about. And then... Uh, that hard? Oh, my God. It's hard. It's a, but don't not read it because that's I heard people say that. See, like you have to give me one sentence of what it's about. It's okay, about it's World about, War Two. It's about uh, two women who are in occupied France during sisters. World War Two. They're sisters, and one of them joins the resistance, and one of them doesn't. Oh. And it's the way each of them deals with the war and helps in fights their own way. the war in their own manner. Oh wow! Okay. And, and they're, I mean, they're just parts of the book. It's very, very raw. Mm -hmm. um, and there's just the section that I barely could read. I was crying so hard. Yeah, no, um, it's just, it's, you get very, very invested in these characters. But don't have it dissuade you from the book because it's a beautiful, beautiful book. Everyone says it's a great book. It and is. I mean, it's just strong, strong women. Oh, my, oh God. my God. And each in their, each differently. Yeah. So... So if I read that book and I'm crying bloody murder, I can call you. Can call you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and then there's Bel Canto by um, Ann Patchett. <laughs> that was yours? That's my next book. <laughs> Clearly it is not your That's next okay. Book. You're going to steal my next one. So. I don't know that I am. No? Okay. I don't know. I don't know what yours are. But um, I, her. Okay. I just saw it on her <laughs> thing. Oh, you did? Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, I you guys, I'm not it. playing no, cards you didn't with you. Have ever okay. I'm not playing cards with you. <laughs> no, do not, do, don't, 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 don't play Pictionary with us. That's <laughs> like, that's Put unfair. us on separate teams. I know. <laughs> it's like I'm watching her. Oh, I know what her answer is. <laughs> okay, so her Pictionary, quick Pictionary story. Oh, shoot. We were, um, oh, shoot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we were playing one time, and I started drawing a baby in the woods, and Helen guessed... That I'm not gonna laugh. I'm not gonna even bother drinking this. A baby in the woods. I started right trying. There? I drew a tree and I drew a baby and she knew exactly. It was Charles Lindbergh because his baby got kidnapped. You knew from that? that yes, Charles Lindbergh. And that was about the point where everybody's like, you two cheat. I don't know how you did it, but you two cheated. One of my cousins is like, how do you get that from a goddamn baby in the woods? Meanwhile, he's drawing the stock market crash in 1929 with somebody jumping out a window for like flying. It was not a good jumping game. Jumping out the window. <laughs> anyway, like never play. Don't play. Don't play with this. Anyway, so can you do a colorway called baby? <laughs> <laughs> no, the baby died. It's a really terrible thing. You can't. Do it. <laughs> we should not be laughing at that. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> Bel Canto. Baby in the Bel Canto by Ann Patchett. Again, an absolutely beautiful book, but I got physically ill 
at the end of that book. So I mean, just I like have, a kick in the gut. I just want to say that if you're recommending a book to someone and you say I got physically <laughs> ill. That does not sound like something. I want no, but to read. the problem it's is you get so attached you're so to these characters, tied up and in I the have, story. That I have oh, Bel Canto gosh. for Katsumi Hakasawa because that is the oh, Japanese yeah. businessman who oh, okay. was there, and it's um, it's about a Japanese businessman who comes down to a South American country um, because an opera singer that he loves is going to be performing at the. Um, the, it's the home of somebody's uh, somebody very yeah. important, and insurgents take over the uh, the oh. estate because there's a civil war going on, and the insurgents take over. And the and little man's there. Mm -hmm. uh, the, well, the everybody whole party the, is there. The whole party is there. So the opera singer is there, and this Japanese businessman is there, and his translator is there, and everything. They made a movie of it. I have not seen it just because the book was so impactful. To Wait, that's us. not a real story. No, no. But it's a it's a wonderful book. Ann Patchett is an amazing. Yeah, writer. it's just one of those books that you just don't you can't touch what's in my head. Right. So I picked this. it because so you can't touch this. <laughs> can't touch this. Are you doing MC <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> but uh, one of the reasons I picked it was because it was my introduction to Ann Patchett, and yeah. I adore Ann Patchett. I mean, she has one that's called The Magician's assistant and I've heard of that the oh, first so good. the first line of it is prospero is dead i mean that's such a good first yeah. line wait does that have anything to do with the night circus no it doesn't no. oh prospero, prospero is, is from hamlet oh. <laughs> right hamlet uh the tempest, tempest, tempest. tempest. Yeah. whatever it's shakespeare it's shakespeare yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just say shakespeare. he is not on my list <laughs> anyway <okay. laughs> all right so i have to pick my next one then since helen took mine all right so um, I have uh, Dick Francis is a, an author that I adore. I loved him. He while he was alive, he was fantastic. He was the Queen Mum's jockey. So Queen Elizabeth's mother's. He was her personal jockey. He rode all her horses for her. Oh my gosh! And he was he was a professional jockey, and he wrote mysteries based around jockeys and horses and horse racing and that kind of thing. It's so they're so good. Do but, what you know. Yeah. Yeah. He um. And he would learn new things. Like he wrote one that was about a pilot. So he and his wife got pilot, their pilot's license yes. and wrote a book so they could land a plane and know what it was like to do it. Very um, cool. But he always said that he sold so many of his books in airport bookstores that he knew that he had to catch you on the first page because <laughs> you have enough time to like skim the first page and decide if you're going to buy that book before you have to catch a plane. Right. And... It's true. He he caught me on the first page, first page of every, every single, single one of his books. Really, that's so, so interesting. I thought if I had to pick one book by him, there is um, one that really sticks in my head. Is about they call the name of the book is Decider, and it's about a man who builds houses. He he builds a house in this old barn that sounds amazing, but he always says there's one thing that is the decider for him in every. Uh, job that he takes and the reason he built this barn was because of this fantastic tree in front that he could see his children climbing so that was the decider for him That's so cool. it's just it's really he's got some really really good books and his protagonists are always so great yes hot money is another really good one there are a whole bunch of them the sid hallies are good oh god love the sid hallies see? so anyway see dick francis it's amazing they just like fly off your tongues like i just what how do you pick that many books Whatever. Go ahead. Oh, my turn. Your turn. Okay. So, I'm back into um, fantasy world. But fantasy world in that it's, like, not fantasy world, but it is. So, it's set in, I don't know, it's, it's, it's like, post-apocalyptic. And Josh, something, I forget this. See? I can't remember the author's name. It's a series called Commune. And... Some kind of weird, like, solar thing happened that killed off some people, and then a plague happened, right? And so, like, tons of people die. It's just not realistic at all. Not like that's happening now. Well, that's what, you know, like, yeah. the, that part. Uh, but so it's, it's the journey of the people who are surviving, and the dude who wrote the book is clearly into prepping. Like, he, he must have a bunker in his house with, like, canned foods and, like diesel fuel and all kinds of stuff because this book goes so deep into how to 
dig a latrine and what kind of you know how do you save seeds for this long of a period and how it's just so interesting to me like reading all of the little details on this and so okay. yeah so when Comment, the zombies josh something josh something the zombies attack go with no page. zombies no yeah. zombies in this yeah book. but you know how to survive i know go with page do not come with me the the, no. the there's the one man who's like the mentor to the younger guys who clearly knows what he's doing and they're all like yeah we need backpacks and motorcycles and he's like no you need a van and a trailer <laughs> <laughs> because you need stuff and everything right. has to be diesel because that lasts 10 years where gasoline is only one year i'm like oh this is so interesting okay all right, <laughs> all right. and we all have to go to like Wyoming, Utah, because we have to get as far away as we can from all the nuclear reactors because all that radiation, once all the electricity goes down, pff, we're all screwed. So get away from the Northeast if you're in the Northeast. I was gonna say, how far away are you from Forker River? Yeah, we need to go. <laughs> yeah. So we're like, Wyoming, I'm heading to we're Jackson like 10 Hole. 10 <laughs> miles away from the Forker, Forker River. River. Yeah, we're all screwed. We're so screwed. Yeah. Out of here. All right. How much time do I have before all this? I don't know. I figure. Do I get warm? I mean, that stuff gets pretty hot pretty quick, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So get, just go. Well, at least we're close enough that we just won't know what happened. <laughs> That's it. You either stay here and just kick the bucket quickly, or you make the beeline for the middle of the country. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Susan, we're coming to you. <laughs> Prepare yourself. It's like, and then, you know, it, it, the characters are great. They're very, it's, it's, it, it's kind of like a. It's an easy read. Like the characters are kind of typical, right? You're expecting the like the marine to be the marine and the like you know whatever. But it's just so entertaining. And there's like twists and there's a mystery in it. So there's more than just prepping, cool. but okay. it's very interesting. Cool. All right. Commune by Josh something. Josh. <laughs> Commune by Josh. <laughs> That's all you need. He's nice. He's a nice kid. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm jumping down the list. Uh, my next one um, was recommended by one of our viewers. I think she's still here. Is she still here? Who? Kathy. Um, Hi, Kathy. She's right there. <laughs> oh, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> so she, last Christmas, told me that we have to read uh, The Red Bird of Christmas. Oh, Kathy, are you the responsible one for The Red Bird of Christmas? Or, by Fanny Flagg. <laughs> it's a cute little and, name. Oh, my God. That book just hit me so hard. So hard. Everything no, hits you, man. But it's wonderful. Like not everything. I'm like happy hit I'm like, or like. Oh yeah. Oh, just do you still cry? Heartwarming. Oh, I cry at everything. I cry at everything though. I, I cry none of my I'm, books make you cry. When none I'm happy, of my books. I cry when I'm sad. I cry when I'm mad. I, I cry, cry when, when it mad. moves me. Yeah. I cried when they cut my hair today. <laughs> you did. Uh -oh. You did. You cried. It looks fabulous, you girls. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> I did. She was cutting away a year and a half of my life, and know, it was right? just like the end. It was like, gosh, it is so short. Yeah. It's so pretty. Um, it's very healthy. Yeah, mine. Mine was. was getting mad at me because I was doing a happy dance in the chair. <laughs> right, you were not crying. Oh, no, I was. No, it wasn't sad. It was happy. It was just like, oh my god, we're like, finally. It's, it's like one more step in this thing being over. Yeah. When you say, oh my god, it sounds so New Jersey. I love it. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. But anyway, The Red Bird of Christmas, it's just a beautiful, beautiful story. It is. And I want to do it every Christmas. Yeah. Can you, can if, you, if you tie yarn for Red Bird of Christmas, you know Penny and I are right there. Yeah. That's how you <laughs> Look I, at Penny. She's practically doing preach. <laughs> can, can, you, can you give us a, a, a one-sentence synopsis of this book? Uh, it's about a town in the, the south and... There's a little girl, and the town just kind of gets behind this little girl mm -hmm. because she has no family, and it's just it's it's wonderful. And then there's there's and a cardinal, birds. and there are cardinals, and it's the a, characters are fantastic. Fanny Flag is really good at characters. Yeah, I mean she's just because I could have listed a bunch of hers. The whole town's talking. Oh my god! I like the title, "The Red Bird of Christmas." It's just wonderful. And she reads it. She's the uh, audible narrator. Of I Fanny love Black. when they read their own yeah. books. Yeah, so it's just it's fabulous. That's why I love Neil Gaiman so much. I don't know if he reads all of his books, but he read The Ocean at the End of the He does not read Good Omens, but oh. that's still excellent. Okay, so my next one is My Brother Michael by uh, Mary Stewart. 
and this is um, a book about the resistance in Greece during World War II, and it's just, it's amazing. You love resistance books. I seem to have a lot of them, mm -hmm. but it's a very, very good book. It's a really good book. It's an old book. Because I think it was printed in like was the say, 50s, maybe. It was one of my mother's favorite books that she but, um, on to us. Yeah, so. but it's, oh my God, it hit me hard. Loved it. It's a really, really good story. It's just Mary Stewart is a fantastic writer. Uh, she has a, a King Arthur trilogy. Actually, it may be four. But um, the, the her King Arthur books are wonderful. And um, she's got some mysteries that are great. But this one is just really, really good. I need to take a picture of your list, too. Yes. Then. Okay, what's up next? Uh, okay, so this all right, this book makes me cry. Oh, somebody wants to know, is it Joshua Gayu? Yes. 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 Is that how you say it? Gayu? You need to listen to Emmy. What? Oh, okay. I'm going to listen to it. Oh, no, yeah. Audible. So I can Audible. listen to yep. it. Mm -hmm. I'm completely sold on Audible. Paul Miller will be like, babe, why can't you just have three credits a month? Why do you need to buy extra credits every <laughs> month? <laughs> Because I listen to more than three books. How do you get three credits a month? I only get one. But you can up your limit. You can. Yeah, you can. I don't know how you do it, but. You pay more money. You pay more money. Well, obviously. Uh, <laughs> but then usually I'm like more like, hey, is that Jen? Hi, Jen. Um, I usually wait for them to send me the, hey, we're having, you know, two credits for one sale. I love that. <laughs> I love all the free things, too, that you get with their audible. Yeah. Like, there's so many things that I was interested. Sorry, I'm sorry. We're supposed to be talking about books, not Audible. Audible is the same part of books. Yeah, yeah, it's all part of books. All right, so Wendell Berry is my most favorite poet. And The Long-Legged House, which was published before we were born, I think. I'm almost positive. I'm pretty sure all my books were published before um, we were born. His books are very nature and, like, God-inspired. And they just, like, they hit me. How do you say it? They get me. They get me. They get me. <laughs> And I just love his book, uh, his poems. They're beautiful. That's it. So what's special about The Long Legged House? It was his first one, and there's a couple poems in there that, like, you know how you write in your book yes. in quotes? Yes, so I'm always writing my Wendell Berry quotes. They keep me... Sometimes when I need to be a little bit, like, centered, they, they're very centering poems. They get your oh, okay. perspective back into, like, hey, you're a little fish in a big pond, and maybe you should, like, chill okay. out. I just love him. I love the Wendell Berry. That sounds good. Okay, cool. I think and I think he's still sometimes. alive. I think he's still, like, he's a farmer. He's like a regular, like, man of the earth. Okay. Yeah. Good. Um, I'm trying to think. Mine are all recent. Mine was, so. North House? Ninth House? Ninth House. Ninth House. <laughs> okay. No? You don't, you disapprove? No, 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 no. No, she didn't like it as much as I did. Mm -hmm. I didn't like it as much as she did, but I did like it. Yeah, The Ninth House by uh, Lee Bardugo. Um, it's all about Yale and the secret societies. Oh. And what's actually happening mm -hmm. in the secret societies. And that there's an actual... Magic. Yeah. Oh, really? There's another house that nobody really knows of that is overseeing the magic to make sure <gasps> Like that the Ministry of Magic. Yes, exactly. That, but uh, college students, but to make sure that they keep their magic contained and that nobody finds out what's actually happening. And oh, also that cool. they don't overstep yeah. their bounds as far as what they can actually do. Right. And, cool. and cause too much um, risks and things like and, that. And, yeah. uh, you know, bring people snooping around. I would so like that. You would. It's really good. Because it doesn't sound like it gets too deep. <laughs> 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 I don't want to be stabbed in the heart. Oh my oh. gosh. Okay, uh, my next one is The Once and Future King by T.H. White. I love how you say it and then you giggle a little. <laughs> like, what's the giggle about? I'm so intrigued. I don't know. It's the story, it's, it's, it's Arthur. It's King Arthur. The okay. Once and Future King is King Arthur. And it's Merlin and it goes with Merlin starting and then King Arthur is a boy. And there's one part that I did as a forensic thing where we did speeches and that kind of thing. And I did Warty's speech from this uh, this book as my speech, and I think I won. But oh, um, right. it was, it, it, he called him Wart. Instead of Arthur, they called him Wart. <laughs> and it's just, but Merlin turns him into a fish. 
I know, I know. Merlin turns him into a fish so he can understand what the fish are like. And Merlin turns him into <laughs> a badger so he can understand how the badgers are. It's so cool. Nice. Anyway, it's a beautiful book. And it's all about King Arthur from his childhood growing into the once and future king. Oh, let's see. Wasn't that a Disney movie? Yes, I think it was. However, the book is much, much better. Oh, yeah. So, I listened to The Dutch House. Tom Hanks was the narrator. Yes, Ooh, I yeah. know. We, have, we haven't done The Dutch House yet, but I do have it to do as audibles because of yeah. Tom Hanks. We also have the physical copy of yeah. that. That's also by Ann Patchett that we love. So, that's on the list. Nice. Okay. I mean, we don't have to... I, I, my last book, I don't have much to say about because it was the one that I was looking up when we were talking. I know, but I love the name of it. Yeah. All right, it's called Squirrel and the Other Fur Bearers. That's a very hard word for me to say. It's by John Burroughs. He was a naturalist. He wrote essays more than books, but and they were all based on his time out in nature, like studying different things. And this book, there is like a whole chapter of chipmunks and him just watching them and what they do. It's just so cool. He talks about them. He talks to them. He describes nature in such a visual way that you feel like you're there. Cool. That's it. I'm done. Who is the <laughs> one? Oh, it's Douglas Adams. Last chance to see. He went to um, observe endangered species. But do you know the um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, this is Douglas Adams, same person. Oh, okay. And he wrote this book. And it's hysterically funny because oh, it's Douglas it. Adams writing about these endangered cool. species. And I mean, just, <laughs> when he starts talking about the Komodo dragon coming at you, it's really, really funny. <laughs> anyway, it's a, it's a wonderful book. Anyway, do you have a last one? Uh, yeah, I will do uh, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Um, I just finished it recently. It's about a woman who makes a deal with a god to uh, essentially live forever, but the deal is is that nobody remembers her. Oh. Once she's out of sight, they have forgotten her. As so, in, like, I turn away? Yep, yep. exactly. Oh. So, and each day, she has to start with brand new. She oh. can't take anything with her. She can't do anything, and she just starts brand new, and nobody knows her. Until one day, she's in a bookstore, and the bookstore owner recognizes her. Oh. And remembers her. And she's just like, what? Yeah. <gasps> How yeah. long into it? Into her living forever? 300 years. 300 years. Yeah. yeah. Right on. Oh, that it's sounds cool. Book. It is. It's a, it's really, a good book. really, really good book. Okay, so and it's just, to me, not fascinating, but it, the loneliness yeah. of that. But she held on because to her it became, he wanted her to give up mm -hmm. because he thought he would break her. And it just became spite with her, but she would not. <laughs> ah, your eyes but off. the other thing that I loved about it was how she made her mark, even though people couldn't remember. Her. Yeah, she found ways to leave her mark throughout history. So I've heard of this book a billion times, and I've never heard anyone describe it. And now I'm like, I need to read that book. It's a yeah. very, very good, good book. book. It's nice. a very, very good book. Very cool. So, all right, I have one last book, and only because it's my favorite book of all time. Of all time. Of all time. It's Trusty from the Tool Room by Neville Shute. And it's about a, uh, an, a girl who is orphaned and um, a man who is not used to children takes her in and it's how she affects him and he affects her and it's a beautiful, beautiful story. Yeah. It's an absolutely beautiful story. I love curmudgeons who get changed by sweet things. Yeah. <laughs> it, and that's, that's basically what it is. He's a curmudgeon, but he's not a curmudgeon like in an angry, mean curmudgeon, more in a very introverted curmudgeon. Yeah. But um, like a codger, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's all about how he, the way she affects him, and it's it's wonderful. It really is. So oh I man, I've got so, so many books to listen to. I know you do. That one I don't know if that's on Audible. That's Neville Shute was writing these that's in the fifties yeah. and sixties, okay. so that's an older book. So I'm not sure. Right. But um, yeah, that was a good one. Mm. Maybe you could send it to Jim Dale. Since we're buds, yeah. We're yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. We have been, we have been going on. talking for an hour and a half. A long time. Oh, Sorry, my goodness. Guys. Look at that. Um, <laughs> Did you buy yarn? Because those minis. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. So I think we are going to get ready to keep going. Right. Um, 
So I think we're good. I think so. For the podcast, we hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the weekend. <laughs> Go ahead. Go, ahead. Go, ahead. Go, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. I just did it. No, go you do say it. That low. Go forth and create. <laughs> <laughs> and we, not her, we <laughs> will see you on Monday. Yes. I'll see them with you guys on Monday. Right. Okay. So there we go. All, All right. sorts of new, new things again on Monday. Yeah. Getting ready for Maryland. Oh my gosh, so. yes. All right. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for sticking with us, everybody. Yes. Ciao. <laughs>